Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Hart. Just a little more time. Without music or the Junos, <laughs> I would have never met my precious Julie. And I realized that music and love were the two most powerful forces in, in my life. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Corey Hart, and here is my Juno's moment. Thank you. I... He was asked to present at the 1993 Juno Awards alongside another Montreal musician named Julie Mass. That fateful introduction became the love story of their life. Live from Toronto's O'Keefe Center, it's the 22nd annual Juno Award. It was 1993 and I was nominated and I was going to be presenting that year. And Julie also was nominated for Most Promising Female Vocalist. We are gathered here tonight to celebrate the achievements of the people who make up our Canadian music industry. Half hour before we showed up for the dress rehearsal, I got a phone call saying that the Juno committee switched the category and that I was gonna be presenting video of the year. So I just politely declined and said, you know, thanks, but no thanks. And I think it sent the Junos into a panic uh, because I, I had been pre-announced that I was gonna be presenting uh, on the telecast that year. And Corey Hart. Um, was just about to arrive for the dress rehearsal and they said, would I be opposed to presenting Group of the Year accompanied by a young female singer. Her name is Julie Mass. I was nominated, but my English was quite limited at the time. I was not speaking that well. And um, we got a phone call in a car asking if I would be willing to present an award with Corey Hart. He's an internationally successful star and she is tonight's most promising female vocalist. Corey Hart and Julie Mass. I was unfamiliar with Julie, but because she's from my hometown and I love my hometown, um, I love my province of Quebec, I was like, yeah, that sounds, that sounds awesome. So obviously everybody's screaming in the car will say, oh, absolutely, you have to do it. So I'm like, well, I, I, I hope I can because I mean, my English is not that good. So they said, don't worry, we'll help you. Everything's gonna go great. When, when we presented that, uh, that night, and poor Julie, because I went off script as well, there was a teleprompter, but it was during the, the hockey strike. The field of nominees for Group of the Year shows just how diverse our industry We have a teleprompter, become. right? And we have to read, so I rehearsed my lines. I was totally ready. That's true, but you just know that because they're Canadian bands, they have a lot of things in common, like watching Hockey Night in Canada, and I started, went off on some riffing about Don Cherry or something, and, and she was completely, like, befuddled, like, what is this guy doing? And I just probably thought I was a jerk. And Corey starts his line, then I do mine, and then all of a sudden, the prompter's going up and down like that because Corey is not saying what's on the teleprompter. He's completely speaking about something I have no clue what he's saying. And I'm completely lost because I, I don't even understand what he's saying. Well, in rock and roll, it's true that if it doesn't kill you, it will make you stronger. So let's look at a very strong group of nominees. And then we, we came off stage. My manager was completely thinking that he had the best idea in the world was for Corey to write songs for me. At that point in my career, I had only written songs for myself. I had never, you know, contemplated the, the notion of writing for another artist or producing for another artist, um, but I liked that idea and the manager suggested, uh, you know, would I be interested in working with Julie? So that's what we did, but obviously at the same time, I guess it ended my career because we fell in love and that was the end for me. I live and still live and breathe for Corey. We fell madly in love and uh, we're 27 years, uh, four kids later and going strong. Had I not been stubborn, and you could say maybe difficult or diva artist or whatever, and I just accepted video of the year, I never would have met Julie. And um, so I like to say that uh, my stubbornness does have its benefits. Angels lead me home.